What's good everybody? It's Ramon and Wheels, aka the Romobile, and today I want to do something a little different. Uh, I've been hearing lately about uh, people's horror stories of how they bought a scooter offline, say for instance Craigslist, and uh, either something was wrong with the scooter after they bought it, or when they got there it was nothing like the listing. So I was like, hey! Why not go on Craigslist and point out some of the uh, things that you should watch out for if you're trying to buy a used scooter online from strangers. So, let's get it. Okay, okay, what I'm doing now is uh, I'm going to, I'm on Craigslist right now, so we're gonna see if we can spot us some hit or miss scooters uh, or mopeds uh, first uh, yeah I'm gonna type in uh, uh, scooter and moped uh, right now it shows just Houston so I want like a wide range uh, I'm going to change the settings take off all this extra stuff uh, and then I'm going to I'm going to add the distance. So uh, I want like the center of Houston. And the center of Houston is I think Brandy, Texas. So I'm gonna do Brandy's Texas zip code and then I'm gonna put uh, let's put a hundred and fifty miles. So that's basically the center of Texas and like a giant circle around Texas. Any scooters or mopeds that are being sold sold uh, or for sale in this space so let's check out what they have okay there's a motorcycle helmet so but we're looking at scooters okay here's one right here we're gonna look deeper into that one uh, this is in San Antonio okay so the first thing you want to look out for is mileage you want them to show the mileage and it's good if they also have a picture so yeah 352 miles that's what it claims to have and they even show a picture they're not willing to show the picture that's one right that's a red flag right there uh let's see this is a, a chinese brand so you already kind of got some i mean chinese scooters aren't bad but it's uh one thing to it says like new because it only has 350 something miles which isn't bad however it doesn't look like it's that new it looks like it's, it's a little older than what it says one thing you want to watch out for is that uh you want to ask them why they're selling their scooter or motorcycle because uh if they say something like um oh it's because i'm, I'm looking to get a new bike or a new scooter or trying to upgrade or something like that if they want to change it up yeah, that's a good sign. If they say something like, oh, it's been sitting in the garage for a couple of years or it's been sitting in storage for a while, right there, that's a bad sign because that means, what that means is that they haven't been doing routine maintenance on it. Yeah, so you also want, speaking of maintenance, you want to find out uh, if they have a uh, maintenance history. So, I mean, maintenance history could just be like an actual sheet of paper they keep. You can use Excel or Word uh, saying it like, 300 miles I did an oil change at 500 miles I checked the tires just a sheet like that that way you know it says uh, bought it at a car auction for $1,500 come on now uh, in 2010 okay see how it says like new but it says 352 miles this was back in 2010 it's 2008 so this is an eight-year-old scooter like I said I said it looks kind of old uh, considering hold on let me lock this screen but uh yeah I said it looked kind of old considering he says it's like new right there red flag this is an eight-year-old scooter with only 300 something miles on it that means it's just been sitting up somewhere no regular routine maintenance they don't ride it that often with scooters especially Chinese scooters you have to start those things at least once a week just either if you don't have to ride around at least start it and rev the gas because otherwise the gas inside the fuel tank it starts to uh, corrode, uh, corrode the actual gas tank it starts to clog the, uh, the lines the hose line the fuel lines uh, so right there that's the red flag right there 
I would not say go go ahead and uh, look deeper into this scooter. So we're gonna go back. It's another Chinese scooter. Right now, right automatically, uh, it's a Chinese scooter. They want thirty-five fifty right there. Don't even bother looking at it. First off, it's used. You can buy Chinese scooters. Uh, you shouldn't be paying more than if you want a good deal. No more than a thousand dollars for a Chinese scooter. Last Chinese scooter I bought was I paid, I think, either eight fifty or nine hundred dollars. This and it was brand new. This dude is trying to sell this scooter for almost fourteen hundred dollars. Chinese scooter, automatically no go. Okay, this is a Yamaha fifty uh, Zuma. We're gonna look closer into that one. Okay, fifteen, almost sixteen hundred dollars. It does. Let's see. It does not say. Uh, okay, we we'll scroll down. Sixteen hundred miles on the odometer, which is not bad. Okay, uh, title status says salvage, which I'm trying to figure out what does he mean by that? Because another thing, you want to make sure people have their title. They don't have a title right there. Another red flag because you want to make sure they are the actual owner of the scooter. If they're not the owner of the scooter and they're selling you a scooter that was stolen, then uh, that can come mess you up down the line. So, yeah, I don't know why it says again with these conditions like new. This scooter isn't like new. It's 2012. It's 2018 now. That's six years old. How is that like new with 1600 miles? I don't they, they they don't understand what like new means new like new is I bought it a month ago drove on it twice that's like new not oh six years old okay uh, great for on and off road wrong it is not great for off road because look at those very very tiny tires right there they already don't know what they're talking about uh, da, 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 da. good for uh, great for college students yeah it's definitely great for college students Let's check out further. 30 day warranty. How are you throwing in a 30 day warranty on a six year old scooter? Are you saying that in 30 days, if something's wrong with the scooter, you'll take the scooter back and give us our money back? They, they also deliver scooters. They deliver the scooter for an additional $95. Yeah, this looks like an actual company, a scooter company. Okay, so we're gonna go check out a few more. What are we at? Yeah, okay, here we go. Already another Chinese scooter. 450. Car cleaning. Let's check it out. It's, it's looked like, you see, you can already tell this just been kind of sitting here. Who knows, maybe they've been working on it for a minute. Uh, but at this up uh, right there, you see it has the title to show you that they do own the scooter. Only 400, I mean 536 miles isn't too bad. It is a 2008, so it's 10 years old. So 10 years old, but only 500 miles. It's been sitting up. It's been just sitting in a garage some year, uh, somewhere for a few years. So. This isn't bad. This isn't too bad. If you want a uh, cheap Chinese scooter, I would say you call them and check it out. Uh, yeah, because if you call them, being this price, you can always work on it or fix on it. It probably just needs a good cleaning. Well, it's, he even says, oh no, it says needs a car cleaning. Yeah, so it does say it needs the cleaning because it probably has been sitting up for a while. It does, they do have the title. Uh, I do know when you got, if you do decide to go like check out a scooter or a moped, to ask them to test rock drive it. Wow, so loud. But yeah, I would say if you if you do ever like contact these people, ask them to test drive it. Automatically, if they don't want you to test drive it, write their red flag. If they say, okay, uh, you want us to just load it in the car or something, no, you want to test drive it. Make sure it actually works. We're going back. Okay, this looks like the same scooter as before. Okay, so people always call scooters mopeds and moped scooters. This people, this is a moped, a motorized bike. It's 
not really my style, but yeah, that's 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 what a moped is. Uh, a genuine buddy. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. Here we go. Twenty five hundred. See, buddies. Buddies usually run you brand new. Between it, it hits you hits you close to like thirty six to forty two hundred dollars for a buddy. Uh, this scooter is two years old, which isn't bad. However, notice there are no pictures. No pictures of the scooter. So right there, it's like, uh, what's wrong with the scooter? Uh, could you, do you not have a phone? Uh, it says never been dropped. Uh, no scratches, new battery, paid $3,000 for it. Well, we don't care what you paid for it. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just basic stuff that you can look up about the scooter other but they don't have pictures they don't name what color it is so this one is kind of uh i wouldn't bother i wouldn't bother calling them if you can't even show me pictures already i'm like something shady about that uh, they could at least just took like stock pictures off the line but they didn't bother doing that okay the thing about scooters you want to ask uh oh vespa you want to ask if it's ever been dropped have you have it ever been damaged because that could be a negotiation uh, to lower the price of your scooter this Vespa Vespa is 10 years old which is okay because Vespa's last a very long time $2,800 okay red, red that show the pictures of the scooter which is good it comes with a top case which is always a plus because top cases are Super expensive. Okay, it, it's, the odometer says it has, what is that, 1590? So almost 600, 1600 miles, which is not a lot considering it's 10 years old. They haven't been riding this around. I can't stand that when it, it shows that it has, it's so old but has so few miles. You actually, if it is old like that, you wanna see miles on it because that means it's been broken in, the scooter's been broken in. Uh, all the pistons and stuff have set, set, settled in and that the scooter is fine. People don't understand when you let a scooter sit up, it's, it's like a house. If someone doesn't live in a house for like a few years, the house starts to crumble. Not crumble, but you know, the structure and everything, it, it, it doesn't hold up well. And that's the same with a scooter. You have to use it. Use it or lose it, people. So yeah, the Vespa doesn't look too bad. I don't see any clear scratches on it. It comes with a top case. You should have blurred out your license plates, but okay. What is that, like a suede seat? Sweet, too bad they didn't do, like show the under the, uh, the trunk. Uh, yeah, but they don't really put a lot of information on it. Minor scratches on one side. Why is there scratches on just one side? Have you dropped it? If they dropped it, hey, uh, can you boost this scooter down a few hundred bucks? Because uh, not only did you scratch it, but for all I know, it might be something wrong on the inside. Maybe something came apart. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, that's about it. That's another, uh, this 1981 Honda. This Honda looks like a combination of a scooter and moped, but it's more of a moped. So right now they're showing me a lot of ATVs and uh, Jeeps. But yeah, that's that's it. That's that's all I wanted to show you guys. I wanted to give you guys like a in-depth when you're going to uh, try to buy a scooter from random people. Used scooters, I might add, from random people. Things you want to look out for, watch out for. When you contact these people, always text them. Text them, ask them every possible question you can first before like driving out to see these people or driving out to uh, uh, find these people and ask them. Also ask them, if you text them right then and there about the scooter, hey, the scooter's still on sale, blah, 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 right? To make sure these are the same pic uh, same scooter that they showed online, ask them, hey, could you send me a picture of the scooter right now? Uh, that way I can see it close up or ask for different pictures than the ones that's on the website hey can you give me a close-up of the undersea storage or hey can you give me a close-up of the front wheel stuff like that that way you know it's the current condition of the scooter 
so yeah you guys uh i might do like a like a not serious but a few videos where i'm just like going from city to city because right now i just looked at texas scooters the type of scooters they put in on sale here uh and uh, i might do a few other cities uh if whatever city you live in put it down below and then i'll do like a little video craigslist video on the scooters that are being sold in your city uh another thing they'll have say this place right here uh right here companies will just post their their trucks and stuff or their this is atvs but their their little this is how they advertise they'll be having some on here uh i do let me see if i can find one i don't see one where it's all about scooters but they'll put on here scooters for sale and show like a basically like a little warehouse of a whole bunch of little scooters or a little showroom of scooters but they won't show the price right there red flag you'll call in and they'll be like oh those scooters are sixteen hundred dollars and you're like oh okay thank you it's like but for you if you come in now we'll sell it to you for fourteen hundred well why did the price just drop huh why did all of a sudden it's cheaper uh no those places are trying to upcharge you so much so so much so and they're, they're usually those cheap chinese scooters so you should not be paying more than guarantee fact more than eleven hundred dollars on a Chinese scooter, and that's including shipping. Including shipping, you can get it cheaper if you are. There are some places who even include free shipping, so you can. Give, that's how I even got mine cheaper for like nine hundred bucks because they ex, they already free shipping. That's how. So max you should ever spend on a Chinese scooter, no matter what brand it is, because they technically in on the inside are all the same. On the only difference is the style. The style be that's the only difference on those Chinese scooters. Otherwise, they're all practically the same. So that's why I say don't be paying no extra fifteen, sixteen hundred dollars, seven, eighteen hundred dollars for no Chinese scooter. Understood? Yeah. So Thank you for watching, uh, Roman Wheels, aka the Romobile, and uh, I will catch you guys later. So yeah, uh, reminder, whatever city you live in, if you want me to do a video on that city, on um, Craigslist or whatever, or whatever, I don't know, uh, scooter store you want me to check out or review, let me know in the comment section below and I will look at and review that place for you. Bye!